I wonder whether that's actually a clip from an old video Can I with, him, with, him, with his picture in picture. Right. So like you, a, yeah. a video where Jack Septi- where Antiseptikai has Appears shown up. or something. And so that's like, that's what this is. It's like a yeah, really that... distorted version of that. What are you going to say, Lee? Oh, the, the, the face kind of in the bottom left kind of looks like Daffy Duck. And welcome to GT Not Live, where the personalities on the couch keep multiplying. Why are there so many people here? You tell me. You invited us. I did. <laughs> Thank you for not playing along with my game. Yeah. There. <laughs> yeah, it's yes and. Yes yeah, and. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Has no one ever taught you improv No, before, improv man. was always my weak spot in theater. I'm Cle- sorry. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly, based on the fact that you're like, no. No. <laughs> and hard stop. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> This is Tom. Hi. Otherwise known as otherwise known as Benedict Arnold. <laughs> otherwise known as apparently don't toss him an improv prompt. Uh, and here's Lee. Hey. Great. <laughs> <laughs> no introduction needed. Yeah. Uh, hi. I'm Lee. I've uh, you may have actually seen my stuff before. I used to. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do stuff on game theory. Let me show you my spiel. <laughs> hi. <laughs> what what was your stuff on game theory? I used to do that documentary series called Breakdown that no one watched. <laughs> a lot of people watched yeah, it. This is true. It was quite good, but it was also, you know, like a thoughtful <laughs> documentary with pacing and silence, yeah. as opposed to, hey guys, let's talk about the history of Zelda <laughs> anime lines. Yeah. You know, so it was a different yeah, it, time. It was like writer, but slow. Yeah, yeah, slow. Yeah. Here, can you give us your like low documentary <clears throat> voice? Hello. Welcome to Game Theory. <laughs> I mean, it's a great voice. Fantastic. It's a voice for podcasting. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Yeah. A podcast voice. I'm I'm the podcast man. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's, that's that's in the law now. Well, and nowadays you're the film theory. Yes. Man. And now I'm the creative director on film theory. So I uh, watch movies and then yeah, talk about then them talk on the about internet. Them. And then I force you to watch Paw Patrol. <laughs> and then yeah. I also force you so to watch much Paw Patrol. <laughs> like, oh, here's here's this random YouTube series. Watch it so we can talk about yes. it. You got Paw Patrol. I got FNAF. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> yes. Are you on? How are you doing on Bluey? By the way. <laughs> Hmm. He doesn't get it yet because no. he hasn't had it burned into his brain. Oh, Not yet. That's great show. Wait, can, oh, very soon. Can you do that deep, deep voice thing again? That was great. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Very, <laughs> welcome, GT Live. Oh, I love the varying energy levels here. It's, just, <laughs> it's, just, it's very, very. I feel like there, there's like an arc going on the couch right now, <laughs> like a Wi-Fi network. <laughs> Wi-Fi yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think this guy might be the like. I think the bar might. Man, be we have a mountain. He says he's an introvert. He's not. I am um, absolutely an introvert. So you might be asking yourself, why are there so many people on the couch? Uh, and the reason for that is. Because sometimes a video gets uploaded onto YouTube and we want to do an episode about something that requires multiple theorist brains to combine and share knowledge. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that today is the lore of Jacksepticeye, uh, believe it or not. So um, for those of you who don't know, Jacksepticeye has a wealth of personalities that have been sprinkled in throughout his content for, I mean, dating back to when? I mean, pretty early on in the channel's history, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Antiseptico goes back to, like, I think, 2016. I mean, I'm, yeah, there was that era in time where all the gamers were like, here's my alternate dark persona. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and that I, was 2016, I think, for him. Yeah, and you had, like, Dark Applier in a suit, and then you had Antiseptico, who was... He, I don't, I don't know if he was the first, but he was the first one I became aware of. He on was, Jack, I think, the first. Yeah, on on the channel, and he, whereas like Dark Player's like, I'm, I'm cool and in control, and I manipulate everything behind the scenes. You had Antiseptic guy who was like, I'm a little bit crazy, and I got my knife, yeah. and I'm glitching out everywhere. <laughs> and I got my knife. No, I mean really, like, <laughs> yeah. I got the knife. Yeah. I'm in control, guys. <laughs> right? I mean, like that's his yeah. thing. Yes. Um, and since then, I know Jack has. 
uh, rolled out his his kind of like old timey vintage persona, mm -hmm. which is what uh, Jay Jameson, Jameson Jackson, Jameson Jackson. Thank you. Uh, and then there's also <laughs> his superhero Jackie Boy, Jackie Boy Man. Yeah, Jackie Boy Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah Jackie course. Boy away. If Jameson want pictures of Jackie Boy. <laughs> That's a Spider-Man <laughs> reference. Oh, hey. it's fun to have film and game theory yeah. crossing over right now. There you go. Um, <laughs> get me that Jackie boy, <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> um, let's see who else. Who else is in Chase? Chase Brody, right? Is yeah. his kind of like average dude, yeah. just like the bro his, guy, right? His normie. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm Chase Brody. He had a show hey. called. Bro Average. That was where yes! he started. Bro Average. That's right, Bro Average. Um, <laughs> Quite literally every descriptor for him. <laughs> yes. And he was, yeah, Bro Average. And he is, he, he went through depression during COVID, didn't he? Or something like that? Yeah. So did we all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Touche. Touche. Yeah, he, yeah, because that, that was the chase. Video. Yeah, there was a, there was a whole like mini short film dedicated mm. to Chase. I remember. Yeah, he's going through, and he was like, he was feeling he he was feeling himself. He yes, was, he was more feeling. mourning and loss mm. and depression and being evicted and many many things that make, okay. would make someone sad. Yeah. I think, admittedly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that so him. Uh, are there more? Yes. So you've then got Doctor Schneepelstein. Oh yeah, uh, the surgeon, the who surgeon is guy, totally a real doctor with a totally normal license, not cut out of a cereal box. Um, yes, that's right. Yep. Okay, I do remember him. <laughs> so yeah, whenever he did like surgeon simulator or anything like that, yeah, he would pull out the mask, and, and Jack would leave the room because he needed to answer the door, and then Schneepersteen would sneak in and take over. Yes. Okay. And totally save the patient. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and then you've got Marvin the magician. Oh, I don't know him. He has appeared, I think, in one. Two videos, mm -hmm. one which is his introduction, and then one is actually like to do with the law yeah. and everything. So the first one was, I think it was, he had like the Jacksepticeye Power Hour, where normally yes. he would uh -huh. introduce a new character. Yeah, I remember that was where a lot of the characters And so he appeared. wanted to go, I'm going to go through card game tricks and yeah. like, you know, the magic sets you buy. And mm -hmm. then he suddenly had a, a sort of Japanese cat mask and became Marvin the Magician. Oh, I've seen screenshots of that. Yes. Okay, so that's the magician character Marvin is the, the Japanese magician. cat mask. Okay. Yes. Okay, good to know. So, the, basically, there have been this building lore of Jacksepticeye characters over the years, and it's all, as I understand it, come to a head with this new project that, that he's been working on, mm. which is Iris. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it was this big live stream event. I, I tuned in briefly, but it was still like loading. I was like yeah. in the first like half hour of it or whatever. So like they were still like, please wait. And I had to do other things. So I haven't gotten a chance to watch it. But I know that at this point, I, I'd like us to try and cover it if there is something. I, I assume that there is something for us to cover in there. Yeah, yeah there's, it's confusing. The lore is confusing at this point. So I think it'd be good for us to clear it up. That sounds like a job for the theorist boys. <laughs> theorist boys. We've theorist boys. Here, here. Put our brains together. <laughs> when our powers combine, <laughs> we can come up with a cringeworthy theory yeah. that the internet might only mildly cancel us. Yeah. Over. <laughs> theorist <laughs> boys, theorist boys, gonna make a theory. We should also probably that's give the Paw Patrol theme song, by the way. I love that. that is the theme song that popped into my head <laughs> randomly when I needed to come up with a tune. It was the Paw Patrol opening theme song, which it's, tells you where my mental state is. It's almost like you have a kid that watches that show. It's almost like it is burned into my brain. <laughs> they turned into superheroes last whoa. night. Oh, or at least in the episodes no. that I watched last night. Yeah, they turned into super So there, the lore is going deep in Paw Patrol. Oh, they, they, they dig in that barrel for more stuff. Oh, dig man. Into that barrel. There's a super villain named Copycat who steals all their abilities. Is it a cat? Well, it if not, cat it's a missed name. opportunity. <laughs> Well, good job. This is this is why you're a theorist. This is and see, I, I get the law. I get it. <laughs> we should also probably mention that just like there is a Wi-Fi network of energy, there's also a Wi-Fi network of Jacksepticeye knowledge on this couch. Yeah. Woo! So so obviously Tom is the guy who has been following this and really closely researching a lot of it. I have been passing awareness, and I remember I've watched a lot of these videos when they happen. Hmm. But I've never actually dedicated the full time to be like, do, do these pieces fit together? How do they fit together? Is there a theory here? But it feels like at this point, that's what they're winding up for. Like, yeah. it, the, the, the ground level has been set and now we're winding up into theory land. Yeah. And then I, you are the one who is... I have you know. seen a Jacksepticeye video. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it? He had this up and coming guy on named Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that 
the one you and talk, Talking about some some indie production called Deadpool. Yeah. Uh, that like that's all I know about Jack. Yeah. That's, that's the one Jack. <laughs> that's I've the one I've seen. <laughs> Great. <laughs> what a normie. The one filled with <laughs> such lore in that one. It's also funny that it was the one that where he was it was it was talking about a movie. Yeah, right. I was gonna say, way to stay on brand yeah. early. <laughs> so I like I, that you started as the I, film the video game documentary yeah. guy and you're like, oh, like video games. Yeah. My true passion is I only slow watch games. <laughs> my true passion is slow paced documentaries about movies. <laughs> I only watch gamers when movies are involved. <laughs> 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 so anyway, uh, and the reason why we're all on the couch, right, is is we figure we're going to want to do a theory about this. The question is, what channel is it going to go on? <laughs> I mean, that honestly. Like we, we've done YouTube stuff on game theory and on film theory. Yeah, Mark, they, Markiplier is the classic example. He is, every theory about Markiplier has been on game theory. It has. At this point. It has ever, I guess so. Unis yeah. Arnis, the Markiplier law theory. Right. Obviously the Pokemon stuff. Right. Uh, Markiplier and, in space was all game theory. Right, but also we have a lot of like the analog horror YouTube centric mm. series. Yeah, it's interesting. The division has always been weird, you yeah. know, like film theory doesn't even talk about films, talks about YouTube series <laughs> and uh, yeah. children's television. So it's nebulous, right? But anyway, I, everyone was in town. I'm like, hey, what's a good video for all of us to talk about and also figure out together? Mm -hmm. This is it, right? So let's let's solve this one together. Yeah, one shot. Is there is <laughs> one yeah. shot? One, one shot, one take. <laughs> this is it. Easy peasy. Uh, anything that we need to know going into this, Tom? Because you've watched this, yes? I have, yes. You've watched this. I'm reacting in the immediate and you will probably yeah, totally just... totally blind. This yeah. is great. Great. Yeah, so the the main key data, so this is a direct follow-up to the Chase short that we've kind yeah. of already mentioned. At the very end of that, he is drinking whiskey in a forest by a makeshift grave, yeah. as you do, um, <laughs> and immediately he is teleported to Los Angeles, or it looks like, I think it was filmed in Los Angeles. Oh yeah, that's he just right. Teleports, with no knowledge of what's going on, he just yeah. suddenly shifts yeah. to a, a parking garage, and okay. then... Do we know why he's sad? Uh, <laughs> it is, so there you was... You can't just ask someone why they're sad, man. <laughs> no, 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 because I, I, I remember... That video, and I, it felt very much like, in, like I watched mm. it having like recently watched Insider, because it came out like shortly after Insider, or whatever, did, right? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's like Jack's version of Inside, Sean's version of Inside, and mm. like, oh, I see, like, I feel trapped, I feel claustrophobic, but it's through this character of Chase to not make people think that he's mm. the one who's depressed. Like, I, I, I'm like, oh, I get this. But then you're right, there was the weird sci-fi stuff at the end. Yeah. And I forget, did we ever find out why he was? Depressed? Was, was it COVID or was it something else? No, it was. So Chase has had a bit of a narrative arc through all of his. He's like one of the few that has really like shown yeah. narrative connection through it all. So the very first in the Bro Average video, we find out his wife is divorcing him and taking the kids with him yes. with her. Okay, taking their their child. <laughs> I forget if it. Sure. What it is, but yeah, a child. What it is. What yeah. it is. A child goes with them. <laughs> this entity. <laughs> this enti Again, we, we've seen like a picture of them. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's an it at this point. Yeah. It's just a, a concept. Um, but they are leaving. Mm -hmm. And so there's that. That's a bummer. They're, 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 uh, that's a bummer. And there's that stuff going on. There's a later video where he bumps into Antiseptikaya, presumably their house. And all he's asking is, what have you done with them? Or where are they? What have you done with them? That's what he's shown. Okay, Chase. And then in Chase Brody, yeah. in the Chase video, yeah. he has had, he's got this makeshift grave, which he puts the photo down and is drinking by in the forest. Okay, so, so the implication that... is that they have been, they have died, that Antiseptikai may have killed them. Oh. Um, that is kind of the implications okay. we're starting with. Okay, that's what, okay, so that's where we're jumping off. Okay, yeah, cool. and then yeah, then the sci-fi teleporting happens, right, yes. and then we're just, as 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 you do, as right, you do yeah, right before the COVID transmission, exactly, <laughs> right before COVID happened, and so suddenly everything just fell off a cliff, and we just didn't hear anything about it after that. I mean, sure, I, right, and, and and that makes sense, right? I think like everyone's <clears throat> productions kind of well, like that round to a complete well, halt. Well, exactly. Well, a chase was shot in LA as well as was as was this, and yeah. so you suddenly go if he's planning on filming in LA for everything because yeah. it's bigger, it's easier yeah. to film. He's got friends and contacts yeah, there. Yeah. Suddenly you go with COVID. Yeah, can't do that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So this is. It's not the live stream. What? Sorry. This is the last live thing. Stream. This is this is a twenty. This is after the live stream. But this is a highlight reel of the live stream. Yes. What is this? So the live stream was about four hours. It was basically Twitch plays Pokemon. 
in okay. the sense of the chat working together to solve puzzles. That's awesome. Like looking through different security oh, cameras, they had a limited time on this. each security camera. Yeah. And as it's- Wait, security cameras too? Mm, the watch, uh, watcher is a thing in this. Yeah. Watcher is- Oh yeah, yeah the watcher, Your yeah. Your senses went, huh? Well, yeah, I know, security cameras. So, yeah, so Do I get to be the security guard? So the security camera, and literally you did control the cameras going left, right, zoom, and then yeah. you'd zoom into a puzzle and have to solve the puzzle. That's awesome. And once you solve the puzzle, you've got a clip yeah. of the anomaly found so video. So cool. So this is now the compilation of all those clips. All the clips the end, together, okay. Cutting out the four hours of the chat arguing as to what they should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> no left, no right, no only right, four? no up. Only That's four, only four. Sure yeah, enough. I think there was some switching of how smart the AI was and they had to figure out how to take inputs and things like oh, that I'm sure as, they, as they went through. That's cool. So that's why I think it, four hours is probably a good amount of time, yeah, actually. Yeah, okay, I think sure. it could have taken a week. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say. It could have been Twitch plays Pokemon. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say, yeah, Twitch, I'm, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which was amazing. I wish we. I wish there was more stuff like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and you guys know, like at this point, you know, it's we reacted to In Space with Markiplier. Mm -hmm. Like anytime any creators are doing cool new things on their channels that uh, like that they put time and attention and, and effort into, it's like yeah, that deserves celebration. And so to hear that it was like not just hey, we put together a cool movie because mm -hmm. I thought it was just a cool movie that it was premiering, but like yeah. it was an interactive movie. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. I very, very much so expected cool. It. I very much ex expected the in space style I'm, treatment, and then suddenly it was like I'm oh no, this is interactive. So bummed that I missed it. <laughs> I mean, I would have also gotten so frustrated yeah. by like yeah. no. Yeah. Turn left, 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 left. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This yeah. is uh, Anomaly Found, Chase Brody. There's Chase. There he is. That's, that man, that man is himself. Chase. Oh, okay. I, yeah, wasn't he, wasn't, he wasn't in the Ryan Reynolds video, <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that you <laughs> knew you. that thank this you. is the guy, right? Yeah. So that, that's fun, Chase. I can tell he's bro average because of the Jinx hat. And oh, the, the fun, fun fact, in the Chase Brody video, it's a different hat because he thought he lost this one, and then in his movie, he found it again. Yeah. So that's why it's different. So it's not... That's not law, that's just, uh, I lost the hat. <laughs> that's, got, that's just that's a continuity hat That's very important hat lore. Hat, hat lore. lore. Hat lore. You gotta count the number of hats. <laughs> yeah. Is this withered Chase Brody? The different, letters, the different letters on the hats are gonna start spelling out a code. Is it Rockstar <laughs> Chase Brody? <laughs> Date is October 18th, 2019. Hold we up, we gotta turn on the closed captions because secrets are always in closed captions. I right? hear you can move them. Yeah. yeah, you can. Whoa! <laughs> Crazy! It's, it's secret. Why would you have them anywhere but the bottom of the screen? Deep, though? deep, deep loot YouTube lore. I don't know if you could. <laughs> <There it is>. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. The problem is, yeah, you now can't get them back to the bottom. I, right, I know. And it's like, ah, yeah. there we go. Say your name for the record, sir. Uh, Chase Brody. Mr. Brody is a five foot eight inch white male, mid thirties. He was described as having appeared out of thin air by a passerby on the top level of a parking garage. There you go. Mr. Brody, can you yeah. tell us how you ended up at this location? Now now you know Jack's up guy is height and weight now, too. Is he so, not as just, just to be clear, is he supposed to be Irish like Jack is? Yeah, like I, that character. I don't. I don't think it's ever like addressed. So okay, I, I, I did not hear not like, like a super. He was accent. drinking whiskey at a gravestone, <laughs> yeah. and not to stereotype, but also to stereotype. Yeah. I don't. So, think, yeah. I, don't, I don't think his his like Irishness is necessarily important to the detail yeah, of yeah, this yeah. franchise. I, it, it sounded almost like he was doing an American accent, and the one line he said. Yeah, I no. I, I don't think. I don't think he's <laughs> trying to. Do, I think he's just being himself. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, okay. Acting. <laughs> acting. <laughs> See, Tom understands acting. Improv. No, no exactly. <laughs> Gone. No, he actually does quite a good job of his acting in this. I'll give him credit where it's due. You'll see. I, I have no idea. I mean, one second I was one place, and the next thing I know I'm somewhere else. That is how teleporting works. <laughs> that would be weird, man. Wait, what's what going talking? on? Yeah. Where am I? You're safe. That's all you need to know. So you don't have any recollection of how you got here. Is that Ego Raptor's voice? That is an Ego Is that Aaron? That is Aaron Hansen. Ah, that's awesome. That's great. <laughs> But it's it's interesting that during this interview we know <laughs> the, the game grumps <laughs> the game grumps are secretly the head of some like scientific research I organization. Mean, but <laughs> this is the thing like it's open, it does open up some interesting things because Mark was the assistant director on the entire video mm -hmm. and they specifically didn't put him in the video they were going to and then decided against it because they didn't want the Iris law and yeah. the Markiplier law to yeah. merge. Yeah. But the fact that Eager Raptor's in it. That's funny. <laughs> Anything There's possible. an extended Markiplier cinematic universe that the, this is now in. The MCU. In it. Yeah, MCU. It, they're all <laughs> alternate dimensions yeah. and like well, it's, things. It's, the multiverse. It's, it's the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There no. you go. It always comes back to FNAF. Yeah. Everything and always I, does. No, never again. Never again. <laughs> Kill it with fire. Yeah. Except it will just come back. Okay, here we go. Right. 
No, I have no idea. Subject has no recollection of spatial transition. Wait, <laughs> what a joke. subject? Aaron being judgy. Apologies. What do you remember, Mr. Brody? Uh, I was in the woods, and then I wasn't. In the woods? What were you doing there? It's not important. We will decide if it's important or not, Mr. Brody. What were you doing in the woods? I was taking a walk. Trying to clear my head. Do you recognize this facility? Well, I don't recognize you, but this building is familiar. It's... It's like I've been here before. Mm. Mr. Brody, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm assuming, what, another personality has been here before? Or was well, he created? Is, has he been created in this facility? Well, so the thing that's interesting is, so during the line Is of he a robot kid? Is he a robot kid? <laughs> yeah, always always robot kids. Kids. Yeah. <laughs> always robot kids. No, so what is interesting, so again, and you'll miss this because it's not, you haven't got the live stream here. In the yeah. live stream, there is a poster in the break room about a, and I think it was actually, there was some stuff posted on Twitter, post Iris, which is about another, an anomaly with a, I can't remember the number of the anomaly, but about like, it is a time bender or space, like spatial rendering and time mm -hmm. manipulation. He's is the it, avatar. Kind of. Time, um, time bending. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that sense of manipulating time mm -hmm. and the, the order of events is... Okay. Could be messy. Okay. Um, and including like the videos that have come previously, the okay. order in which we've seen them mm -hmm. released may not necessarily be the order in which they happen. And oh, so like the fact that this? he like in this and in the previous videos. Oh, in the other lore stuff. Okay, yeah. And so like All the right. fact that he recognizes the facility. Yeah. Without, but this is the first time we've seen him in the facility. Okay. Is either there's some like deep seated memory that's been repressed or another personality or whatever, yeah. or this is out of time. Exactly. Okay. Great. Cool that you've never been to this facility before. We have no records of you even stepping foot in this building. Wait, there were glitches! Gotta go frame <laughs> by frame for those glitches! Okay, no. It's, 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 I have that effect. It's, <laughs> it's funny that there are glitches, despite the fact that Iris, like, watcher camera technology is meant to be the most high-tech thing in the world, powered by, like, antimatter. And yet, you know, and yet it's still glitching. And, and the resolution is 360p. <laughs> you know, it's, it's tough. When you gaze upon the beauty that is Chase Brody, <laughs> bro average. <laughs> Everything is analog yeah. war. <laughs> Absolutely. No, it's, it's not like that. It's... There's an energy here that I've felt before. Mm -hmm. But it's probably just deja vu or something. Have you experienced other instances of this? Like what? What do you mean? Like feelings like deja vu, like something's happened before. Yeah, of course, but I mean, everybody has. It's just the mind playing tricks on you. Have you had any other so similar strange. experiences, like uh, seeing things that aren't there, strange objects appearing out of nowhere, losing track of time? Well, there's, there was this one time I teleported. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell one, you. That was one time. <laughs> One time, <laughs> but your uh, deja vu is so fascinating, right? Like, it's crazy. Yeah, it, like it's, I'm not super up to date on the science, but like as much as I understand, it's like the the neurons in your brain that are designed to make memories cross with memories that have already been made. So yeah. you're like, wait, yeah. I feel like I've done this before, even though you yeah. probably haven't. Either yeah. that, or it's just your multi multiple. Universe self, <laughs> you know that, yeah. that, that or we've collided well, with an alternate universe. Exactly, or one it's of the, the Matrix, or we're in the Matrix. And Ooh, a glitch in the know, simulation. And we're just fall asleep in the singularity at this point. There we go. Yeah, I'm <laughs> using my body as a, or using my body as a human battery, <laughs> as a giant supercomputer. Yeah. Right, totally makes sense. See, Besides that one, because that's a Matrix one. I've seen the Matrix. <laughs> Which one? Dude. Oh no! I saw. The, I've seen the original three. I okay. didn't see the new one. Did you see the Animatrix? Go watch the Animatrix. No, the Animatrix. <laughs> Underappreciated. Animatrix yeah. is solid. Yeah. Uh, nothing but you, good things. You don't have to see the new one. No. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that basically just all three of them put together in what, like the one, one movie? Basically, in terms of like the story, it, it was flow. like the pilot for the HBO Max show they wanted to do. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a, actually yeah. that's a good way. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. I, I I don't know. It's hard to tell. Of course. Mr. Brody, have you ever heard of Alter 114209? No. Write that down. It's a number. It's, it's an important number. number. Uh, important. So all, Alter is in, I, I noticed they're spelling it strange. So, so no, but that, so that, that is might be the, no, that's the auto captions. It is okay. actually spelt A-L-T-R. It's an, yeah. um, an anagram for something. Okay. And so we don't know what that means. Yeah. And, and also, also okay. just 
based on what I picked mm -hmm. up about this lore. Lore! Lore! <laughs> yeah. The lore. I, I assume that's also probably building off of, like, alternate personality, maybe? Yeah, there will be some... It's something to do with that. The fact that they're called alters... Yeah, okay. It, it, it clearly links to that. As I say, there was a different alter poster in the other... Yeah. In, the, in the break room. So that's hmm. clearly kind of what they are referring to, but <clears throat> we don't know what the actual letters stand for yeah. specifically, but it's that kind of play on... Everyone but, will know what this is referring to yeah, without yeah. knowing the actual... Yeah, without yeah, yeah. actually the words. <clears throat> um, yeah. Do we do, do we have a way of finding the live stream again? Because it feels like there might be important clues mm -hmm. for a theory that are hidden in this piece of lost media. I think we can probably do that, yes. Okay, that's I think great. I have it saved somewhere. Great, thank you. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> secret, secret, we got a secret. Okay. Secret! Oh, I have no idea what that is. Wait, what's going on? Why am I here? You're here, Mr. Brody, because we deem it necessary. <laughs> We teleported you. Indicators show subject is lying about knowledge of Alter 114209. Use of the Dr. Hopkins assessment. It would help if you explained right? what no, the Alter 114 is. If, if people just communicated more clearly with each other, so many cinematic problems would be resolved. <laughs> exactly. It's you like, know, yeah. what is this number you're quoting at me? Oh, it's this thing. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, I have seen that. <laughs> oh, that thing. I'm sorry. I didn't refer to it by its formal name. <laughs> I knew it by its name. <laughs> by the formal name you gave it and didn't tell anybody. <laughs> right? yeah, it's, like, it's an internal doc like, document. I'm assuming it's what, like probably anti septic eye, right? Yeah, basically. Nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> know your own lore, Chase Brody! <laughs> you learn the lore. Learn the lore. That's his, for that's his formal name. That's what his parents call him. Yeah. <laughs> Please, it's uh, Mr. Uh, Alter. <laughs> <laughs> but my, all, all my friends call me Auntie. Yeah. <laughs> I told you guys, I have no idea what that is. Don't worry, Mr. Brody. We here at Iris will get to the bottom of this. Get to the bottom of what? When can I go home? We're afraid that's not possible right now. You can't just keep me here. Try to get some rest, Mr. Brody. Tomorrow will be a big day. This concludes our session. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a big <laughs> session. Thanks, thanks auto captions. I didn't yeah. know this was a predictor. <laughs> it's a predictor. In other news, the economy is in the tank. <laughs> Poor Chase. Mm. Yeah, big same. <laughs> big same. Big same. It do be like that. <laughs> it do be like that, though. <laughs> so notice this is the first time we're actually seeing Aaron. The date is October 19th, 2019, and we are interviewing Chase Brody again. Use of the Dr. Hopkins assessment has been approved. Mm. Good morning, Mr. Sorry. Brody. Quick yes. detail. That is an actual <laughs> assessment that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Oh, cool. He made oh, up the name Dr. Hopkins assessment. Oh, so, so, it, the, so what we're, is it, is it even worth looking? No, oh, we're so there okay. anyway. We're, we're so. here. Oh, so, John Hopkins, yeah. <coughs> uh, so there was something I did see, it might be a lower down one. There was one about, for, yeah, the, for, the competency assessment, Hopkins competency assessment. Um, Brief method of value a patient's capacity to give informed consent, hmm. which is interesting. But Jack has basically gone, by the way, I made that name up. It's oh, really? Not, it's not linked to it's anything not, okay. I'm doing, I promise. It's just Damn interesting. It. I found it interesting that it could apply, yeah. and he didn't intend for it to. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That's I just fair. wanted to point that out because our theorist, my theorist brain immediately was like, <gasps> quickly find it. And then he, in the in the later live stream, was like, no, guys, yeah. I'm sorry. Don't, don't do that. Yeah. So, well, Dr. Hopkins really is just like, What's the most doctor doctor names. name I can think of? <laughs> doctor Do Doctor. That, that isn't Dr. Schneepelstein. <laughs> <laughs> That's like number two on the list. Like, when, I, when I think of stereotypical doctor names, what do I think of? Uh, Hopkins, Schneepelstein, uh, Fliggle, Fligglewigget. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and what? And Roberts. And Roberts. Roberts. <laughs> Iplier somewhere on the list. I'm sure, I'm sure that's an ego somewhere as well, isn't it? Iplier. Dr. Iplier. Here we go. <laughs> Is it? We're going to ask you a series of questions to determine your state of mind. Now, keep in mind, we can detect if you're lying, so please try to answer truthfully. You okay with this, Mr. Brody? <laughs> I, I like how cat it is. Yeah. You just don't normally see, like, hard researchers with, like, the, the massive but, head but of hair. Yeah, but, you'll notice, but you'll notice as well the casualness of Aaron's tone shifts the more we see of him. Oh. So, like, that first one, it was all from this angle. Yeah. And he was very cold and oh, man, calm, and it's going to start. Oh, oh, man, look at this guy. The okay. lore. The, the film student in me. Do I have a choice? <laughs> Is your name Chase Brody? Wait, shouldn't I be hooked up to, like, a bunch of wires or something? I assure you our technology is quite capable. That won't be necessary. I will repeat the question, is your name Chase Brody? Yeah. 
Are you 34 years old? Yes. Are you taking the Dr. Hopkins assessment right now? Yeah, I guess. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, how would you describe your current mental state? Why do you need to know that? Kind of blob. Please just answer the questions. Trapped in a research facility and <laughs> have no idea what you're asking me about. I don't know. A four. Oh, that's Whoa. quite low. That's By quite low for low. day two in the facility. Well, is it day two? I believe it is. I believe Wait, each of these sessions he's is a only, day. He's only at a four <laughs> even though his wife and child just died. Yeah, but he, that, that's that's in the past now. We're now oh, dealing yeah, with this. Yeah, <laughs> it's problem at hand, I Lee. teleported, okay? Yeah, when you teleport, your priorities <laughs> shift. Shift a little bit. The fabric of space and time just ripped asunder <laughs> for you. Yep, there you just go. <laughs> Have you ever felt an attack of fear or anxiety? Yes, <laughs> of haven't we all, mate? Yeah, haven't yes, I have read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> I'm the most confident, self-sufficient person ever. You feel safe? <laughs> right now, no. Do you regret your decisions? <laughs> what? Do you regret your decisions? About what? You're gonna to have to be more specific. I agree. I agree, Chase. That's a terribly worded question. Do you know where you are? Uh, somewhere in Iris. Do you know why you're here? No. I keep telling you guys, I have no idea. Have you ever heard of Alter 114209? No, I told you yesterday. I have no idea what that is. What was the first time? Well, I was, I was going to say this that feels like the first interaction between them, but the fact that I said yesterday, okay, well, so... The, it's interesting that you said the more you see of Aaron, that mm -hmm. the 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 more personable. Because I think that's a, uh, I forget. There's a there's a, an actual film. It's like the Kur Kurdishov effect or something, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where when you see someone's face and you cut it with something else, yeah, the tone completely changes. Because I'm not picking that up at all in terms of the actual what he's yeah, actually so, saying. So so like I feel like the fact that you're just seeing his face is humanizing him more. That's true. That's Which I mean, it is an artistic Kurdishov choice. Effect. It's wow. something like that. I'm not sure if that's the actual name. But it, yeah, thank you. Thank There's you. a reason I, I he's the film, film theory guy. <laughs> I went to film school. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah! But like, it, it's, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, it, but it is mm. an interesting observation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time. I think you just like Aaron Hansen. I mean, don't, don't he's a likable guy. He's, like, he's a generally a favorable guy. <laughs> you came into contact with Alter 11 for Are you even listening? How many times do I have to tell you? I have no idea what that is. Right, give him some right, context. Moving on, Mr. Man. Brody. How many pictures have been shown to you so far? Pictures? None. How many sounds have been played for you? None. Are you easily startled? I, I love the idea that this is like one of those YouTube videos where like your attentional, like mm. pictures have been going this whole time, but they're distracting. <laughs> Gotta go through frame by frame to find them. It's, it's like the like, watch watch the, uh, the, watch how many times the basketball is passed and then, but did you notice yeah, the yeah, gorilla yeah. walking yeah, through the scene? Yeah, it's exactly. Like, what? <laughs> that got me the first time. Me yeah, too? Yeah. Oh, I Absolutely. blew my mind, it's amazing. No, I mean, Maybe, I don't know, it depends on the situation. What's the worst pain you've ever felt? I don't know, I can't remember. Do you believe in God? <sighs> That's a loaded question, don't you think? Please just answer the question, Mr. Brody. He's gonna react. No. I mean, I used to, not anymore. Do you believe in life after death? Okay, no. This is ridiculous. No, I'm not doing this. Ridiculous or not, please just try to answer the question truthfully. Do you believe in life after death? No. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you? <laughs> I, like I, I like that I'm watching this and I, I hear you like Tom mm. sighing and like <laughs> humming mm. and groaning to himself like mm. I'm just, I'm mm. just, I'm just like, again, because this is me re-watching it as well now yeah, having gone, gone away and done research. And so I'm then like, oh, I'm connecting certain dots. So like the fact life after death is an interesting thing because of how antiseptic I interacts with other alters or other personalities, mm -hmm. other egos, because a lot of them, it appears like they have died, but mm -hmm. then they've come back in later episodes or Antiseptic High has kind of been in control of them later. And so life after death yeah. is... It's a loaded question yeah. within this law of kind of like, is it technically life after death? Are they still them? Are they back alive again? What's the timeline of all these events happening? And so it's just a... 
But I think well, it's I think it's fascinating. You're like on your like fifth watch of this, and I'm on the yeah. first one. And my my thought was, do you believe in life after love? To love? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Throwing out the classic share reference. Man, only the hippest, most timely references on this channel today. Well, yeah, he's, he's like, hmm, yes, this all connects. And I'm like, ah, oh, share. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, I do believe in life after love. Uh, thank you, share. Uh, what a bop. Um, so anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, but it's what you're saying about the life after death thing, it's, it's interesting that you call that out because to me, you know, all the indications that I've always gotten around and, mm -hmm. and again, it's, it's interesting to see the different like dark personalities or like mm -hmm. alternate persona, evil personas yeah. of, of the various YouTubers that have popped up around that same time. Yeah. Cause again, like the, to compare dark applier with antiseptic right? Dark applier yeah. again is like shadows in control. He wants control, right? Mm -hmm. Like he is always like, I want control. I'm in charge of this. I want to be released, whatever. Yeah. Whereas antiseptic has always been this like, chaotic force that embodies like violence murder mm. death uh anxiety in a lot of, like yeah. he feels much more aggressive violence and so yes. the idea of like do you believe in life after like almost to an extent that i could see him serving as a symbol of death itself in yeah. a lot of ways um and and everything that kind of You're, comes attached to it also because also like i mean he has, he has the whole like you know the, this the whole slit, thing going the slit on throat, yeah. yeah that's right. a classic classic thanks thanks for thing. calling that out you yeah. know the, i'm sure we'll have to censor that for you too you got you got the thing the on thing. his throat yeah I, oh i know. thought i thought the action was quite explicit personally well, the action, <laughs> so you decided to articulate it of course. for the algorithm <laughs> yeah thanks yeah i think it's interesting that you're pointing out like Markiplier, Darkiplier, I'm sorry, I know they're very different. Ooh. Darkiplier is this like force of control and Antiseptica is this force of chaos when I, I've heard you talking about mm. how Antiseptica is obsessed with, no, I'm in control. Yeah. But he's like this oh, chaotic in entity. I, I'm not saying like you're wrong, I think that's an interesting parallel that he's like, is, is Sean trying to say something about how chaos is in control? <laughs> Thanks, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> this fake yeah, hedgehog. Like, actually, legitimately, was not trying to make a song the Hedgehog reference, but like, like, a, <laughs> yeah. a, 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 like the the universe is this chaotic mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. like that. No, and it, you're no, and you're right to call that out because because he does say that a lot, and it, it is, I think, I guess, like two different versions of control, right? You have dark applier who is like very much in his box like i am in a suit i'm professional i'm the the professional right and he and he asserts dominance through this you know strong personality mm, yeah. whereas antiseptici asserts dominance historically at least and well I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna see him or something or mm -hmm. hints to him or whatever here but like he asserts dominance through being unpredictable in a yes. lot of ways or being this force of chaos and like and it puts everyone on edge and yeah. scared to yeah. do anything because it's like oh if i make the wrong move or if i do something you know that he doesn't like or yeah. like yeah. it could turn on a dime yeah right? you never know when he's going to show up or what he's going to do right exactly and so it's two very different levels of asserting control you know but two very effective ways of doing it right yeah. it's, it's the classic order versus chaos sort yeah. of mentality yeah yeah yes. no totally totally Kintley? no have you ever lost someone close to you? Okay, look, I've answered all your questions. I'm not doing this anymore. We're not done with the assessment yet, Mr. Brody. Have you ever lost someone close to you? I don't care if we're done with the assessment, okay? I'm not doing this. Have you ever lost someone close to yes! you? Yes! <laughs> like I lost the only two people that ever mattered to me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Brody. This concludes our assessment. Wait, that's it? What was the point of all of that? When do I get some damn answers? When we release a film theory or game, <laughs> you know. Oh, glitch. I think it's the transition between the clips from the last. Yeah, it, of it course is. it is, Lee. Yeah. But also, it's a <laughs> great place if, to hide things. But it's what also, if there is I think it, yeah, you're, <laughs> it can do more than one thing at a time. This is true. This is true. However, I think Lee might be right. <laughs> you two ganging up on me. Little trolls. Hello? Come on. Don't tell me you're giving me the silent treatment now. 
It was just getting fun. So, what? Am I supposed to just sit here and talk to myself? Question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, again, I gotta brush up on my... Yeah. It's not even lore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> My Jacksepticeye body art. Mm -hmm. So I know that the circle tattoo mm -hmm. is his. Yeah. Is the is the tattoo on Chase Brody's arm also just Jack's tattoo? Yes. It is. Okay, right. All of these are Jack's. Yeah, okay. They're all just they're, natural they're tattoos, like, um, right? Okay. Shadow of the Colossus and things. Yeah, like that. yeah, right. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, good. That, all all of, all of his alternate personalities are just really big fans of the same things. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Shadow of the Colossus. Great game. Great cracking, game. Cracking game. <laughs> yeah. Right. Amazing. Whether you're a chaotic force of death and destruction, or you know, gamer bro playing modern warfare. It's the one thing that connects them all. Yeah. <laughs> Shared love, oh, no, shadow. shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just I knew the circle one. I just yeah. noticed that one for the first time. I was wondering. Yeah, so okay. I think that one is the shadow. Forgive me for uh, Sean. Yeah. Forgive me for not being fully in depth aware of up, all up. your individual pieces of body art. You're not up on the Jack Septic tattoo lore. Yeah, it's, you it's, know, it's, it's, it's on my to do list <laughs> after full <laughs> finale. It's a, se it's a separate wiki. It's yeah. a whole thing. I know. <laughs> Hold for a second. Yeah. Matt, when's your heart at eleven thirty? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you got thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, actually, we're making good progress. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, Iris, you're so amazing. It's like only yesterday we used to talk. I miss you so much. Interesting. That's a weird way of phrasing Interesting. it. Interesting. Well, so I think this is meant to be day three. Sure. So they haven't come in to interview him <clears> today. <throat> sure. It's the same time every day. He's now sure. sat at the desk and goes, well, where is everyone? What the heck's going on? And so, it's just, yeah. No, it's just a weird way of phrasing it. It's, it's yeah. like only yesterday. Yeah. Well, yeah. In the physical know, sense, it was yeah. probably yesterday. No, but yes, no. But I, it is an interesting way of phrasing uh, it's, it. I think it's interesting they just panned over to the other camera. Right. It's yeah. an interesting choice. Maybe to show that no one's there. Just yeah, maybe. Right. Should we see other people? <laughs> or to your point, like maybe he's losing it, and mm -hmm. and maybe none of this is real. Maybe. Ooh, classic. <laughs> it's a tennis ball. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like a like a little on the bug. <laughs> what What do you want me to do with this? Play. I'm not a dog. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> do you do this for all your guests? Or am I special? That's fun. You can get hours of enjoyment out of the tennis ball, I feel like. He's got a hat. You could play toss it into the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Bounce it off the wall you into the hat. Not do trick shots. Dude, yeah. dude perfect. He's style. a bro average. average. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> dude perfect. Bro average. Uh, so they, that means it takes about eight or nine different attempts. <laughs> yeah, and you camera. see every but, single yeah. one. <laughs> then, then you have like Chad mediocre. And, and that, yeah. <laughs> like like just a, like a definite gradation of like bro dude bros <laughs> getting worse and worse. <laughs> Todd Awful. Yeah, Todd, <laughs> Todd, Todd Awful is just actually just a great Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Foreign. Great. Prediction. <laughs> the bounces do kind of sound like this. Lots of sound illusion discs. You hear them humming. There you go. The illusion discs. <laughs> Can you tell we've been researching a lot of NAF recently? A lot of NAF recently. <laughs> huh. Get dunked on camera. Smart. <laughs> Got him. Got the security camera though. I know you're watching. Hello. Anybody? Here's the chair. Bring it. Bring it the chair. Hello? Anybody? Come on. I know you're watching me. Lights on. I'll break your camera. You do it. Maybe there's something secret in there. It feels very Shutter Island. Mm -hmm. Is that a, well, that I, a, that well, a, a film, film reference I don't understand? Oh, Shutter, Shutter Island, great movie. Um, <laughs> I, I can't say anything without spoiling anything. No, fine. But, um, I, I, it's fun. My film brain is going to like, are they doing these zooms in post? <laughs> <laughs> How are they doing this? I love it. <laughs> Oh, help! Oh, I've hurt myself! Oh, help! 
<laughs> he knows they're watching. Right, right, right. No, he knows that, surely. He's a soccer player. You create your own. <laughs> oh, that's too true. Oh, that's too no. true. Oh. It's like, my toe got hot. Oh, my face! <laughs> Wow, <laughs> spicy sports commentary we got going spicy on. Spicy sports too. from the least sporty people yeah, right, right? <laughs> ever. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> this is what you want, isn't it? Yeah, you guys watching. <laughs> I know you're looking at that. me. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> you sick fucks. Whoa, Ooh, spicy. spicy. <laughs> Can you oh, at least no. turn the lights off? <laughs> We're bleeding into each other. How am I supposed to sleep? Or Ash is bleeding. Can you turn off the lights? Thank you. <laughs> so how long were the clips that people would unlock? Would they be like, like so, multiple so, minutes? Because so, I'm trying to yeah. figure out like where these divisions would have happened in the yeah, original so, election. So, they're pretty big chunks. Yeah, so the days, like the interviews were separate. Okay. This one I think is split in two. So I think actually at this point there's been a split okay. already in yeah, the, in I, the I security Yeah, I imagine footage. like maybe the ball. Yeah, the ball was a section. And they're trying to sleep maybe. Trying to sleep is okay. another section. <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty sure because it's basically days okay. and kind of all nights I think it's a split. Oh, that's evil. Come on, this isn't funny. That's right. Blanket over your I'm head. Trying to sleep. Blanket over your head. Okay, no. So actually, hey! that was a. Yeah. Look. Come on. When are you guys gonna let me out of here? All right. It's starting to get really boring. I answered all of your questions. I told you everything I know. What more do you want from me? Poor Chase. Mm. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know if you could hear that on camera. <laughs> Tom's hungry. <laughs> Tom. I so, you see, I wasn't humming enough, and so my body went, I will do it for you. I'm sorry. I am sorry we had to break for that one. But Tom's man. stomach is like, yes, of course. <laughs> the, the lore, the answers. I just, must, I must sing the song. Like, there's no people. way the microphones didn't pick that up, because wow. It was very loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is this some sort of... Oh, oh wait. Whoa. Wait a minute. We got some red frames. Oh, and he's looking at the camera. Mm. Oh. So, <laughs> I'm wondering... Okay, this is my prediction. This is my predi Are they trying to, to trigger Antisepticai? Like, is Antisepticai <clears throat> inside of him or a piece of him and they're trying to, like, bring it out maybe by putting him through a bunch of duress? That's my, that's my guess. Don't, don't say anything. I'm not saying anything. That's my guess. Based on what I know about trends in media. Is this some sort of sick joke? Oh, buddy. Oh, he's starting uh, to lose it. Th those are some classic Jacksepticeye law glitching. Right, yeah, yeah. Going on. Yeah, whenever Antisepticeye shows up, the camera gets funky. Mm -hmm. I remember, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that that's terrifying. Mandela. Mandela affecting. <laughs> yeah, Mandela cataloging. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. No, 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 not this again. No, please. Please, please, please go away. It's like overlay in the background, I'm assuming. Wait, there was like, right, there was like a shadow over there. Please. So, so that's, yeah, it's moving. Please, 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 please. It's an interesting way to do that transition. Right. <clears throat> kind of like half fish eye. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and there's like there's picture a picture, picture. picture there. Uh, and bottom Which, bottom left as well, there's like a weird... I wonder if that is actually... Could, could you move the um, subtitle out of the way, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I wonder whether that's actually a clip from an old video. Like with, him, with, his, with his picture in picture. Right. So he, like a, yeah. a video where Jack Septi where anti has Appears shown up. or something. And so that's like, that's what this is. It's like a yeah, really distorted version of that. Hence the, the picture in picture in the corner. Yeah. What are we going to say, Lee? Oh, the, the the face kind of in the bottom left kind of looks like Daffy Duck. <laughs> wow. I don't think it is. D deep. I don't, I don't <laughs> I think, think it is. No, you, you don't, do you? Unless he was playing a Daffy Duck game. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Deep, deep insights from Lee. But I'd not noticed that. A Ash picture. in the corner <laughs> is just dying right now. I thought it was King DDD. <gasps> oh, oh, so duck, I was on the right track. See, duck. I, I thought it was Bendy. Bendy. I thought it was Bendy and the Ink Machine. Oh! I don't know if he played Bendy and the Ink Machine and if Antisepticeye showed up, but it looks kind of like Bendy to me. But, hey, but he's wearing like a hoodie. 
He's got the slanted yeah. eyes. He does. Now yeah, I, I see. I see the. Du I see where you're going yeah. with Daffy Duck. Are you sure? I, I, are you sure that this is just? Him? Yeah. Here's, oh, wait, it's, it's, it's him. him. Guys, I think you're overthinking this. Possibly. It's him, right? It's him bent it's over at the table. Yeah, it's the picture in picture. Right, it's a picture of him bent over at the table, doubled oh, and shoes. reverse flick. It's his, yeah, his shoes then distort over there. Right. So oh, they, it's they the distort. Bed frame. It's the bed. Frame. The bed frame, and yeah. then it flips. Yeah, I know you're right. And it duplicates. Right. Oh, there's his hand. Yeah, I see. It could have been Daffy Duck. Hey, man. It could not have been Daffy Duck. The best details are in the weirdest places. It's how we do this job. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, imagine if it had been Daffy Duck, and then we would have cracked it wide open. Exactly. <laughs> no one else would have noticed no, this detail. No bad ideas in brainstorming, but there are, <laughs> but there are bad some ideas. worse ideas yeah. in brainstorming. <laughs> I mean, not bad. They're like, not bad. They're just worse than normal. There's a tier list there's in a brainstorming. Hold <laughs> right. oh, no, up. There was a blue one in there. Yeah. Sorry, I know that this is all just like glitchy, glitchy facts, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure where the song's going. What do you want from me? Mm. Interesting. Yeah. What if. <laughs> what do you want from me? Ooh, ooh, I've seen cool. that and I've never figured out quite what that is. It's an eyeball. <laughs> is it the iris symbol? Is that what do you want from me? Look. Oh, yeah. No, you never figured out that? <laughs> Look what I have to work with here! No, it, like, I don't even think it's the iris symbol. Yeah, it's no, just, it's just uh, an, it's an eye with, with, with an eyebrow. eyebrow. Come on. That's the thing, I was looking for what iris symbol. What could this mean? <laughs> it's Is it Gabby Duck? <laughs> Again, the first time around watching it, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I cherish you both. <laughs> you do such good work. We do. When, <laughs> when given longer periods of time. Again, I tell <laughs> You, improv is not my strong suit. <laughs> but apparently, facial recognition is. Oh no, facial recognition. Second. I've had people go like, "There's a face hidden here." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> Just I can't do it. Uh, we 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 did a whole theory recently about pareidolia and seeing <laughs> yeah. seeing things faces where they're not there. Faces yeah. Faces aren't, yeah. Okay. And we're back. Oh, did you see kind of shifted red a little bit? Or was I imagining things? Oh uh, yeah, there, there, there is, there is a, there, there, oh, that's, the I, that's the iris light on the camera flashing because it flashes up. Interesting. Okay. So oh, good. That's, good. That's, good. That's, good. That's, that's still an interesting. Film. Yeah, that was a good. Date is October twenty first, twenty nineteen. We are interviewing Chase Brody once again. Welcome back. Oh yeah, you're okay. It's, I thought you guys yeah. forgot about me or something. <clears throat> Mr. Brody has experienced elevated exposure levels since we last spoke. Levels in the room have also been increased. Wait, what do you mean? I've just been sitting here. It's the tennis. What have you guys exposed me to? Mr. Brody, there are powers in this world that would seek to harm individuals such as yourself that we are trying to protect you from. The bullshit! You think you're doing all of this to protect me? Believe me, Mr. Brody. We are. We're gonna carry out the Hopkins the assessment book. again. Oh, great. As before, please try to answer every question. Close caps and will be helping us. <laughs> Is your name Chase Brody? Yep. Are you 34 years old? Uh-huh. Are you taking the Dr. Hopkins assessment right Yeah, now? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ask the questions. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, how would you describe your current mental state? Well, I'm pretty pissed off right now. It's a rock bottom. What was that? Do you feel safe? Do you feel safe? Ooh. I... No. Are you enjoying your time here? Uh, this is yeah, a this sweet is tennis no. ball game yesterday. How does this image make you feel? Very confused. Do you know why you're here? No, I keep asking you that. Are you comfortable? Comfortable. You're bringing up the image. No. That's really interesting. Do you have any experience with Alter 114209? No, I keep telling you, I, no. When was the first time you came into contact with Alter 114209? I haven't. Do you know why you're here? Wait, did, didn't you ask me that already? Have you ever lost someone close to you? Yes. How many pictures have you been shown? I don't know. Uh, Four? How many sounds have you heard? Hmm. Two. Do you regret your decisions? Uh, yes. Do you mean that? What? Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? No. I... Yes. Do you believe in life after death? No. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Stop! 
Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you? Is there is there something that like we should know about? I think this. Or is this it's, what it's revealing? It's it's. I've taken it primarily as it's it's because it's to do with the antiseptikai fat dead family stuff and he hasn't fully admitted anything he just says i've had something happen so it's unclear whether he so his family either died mm -hmm. he killed them or antiseptikai took over him and killed him yeah because he comes into the room and antiseptikai is standing there okay. in a very red room and he's like where are they what have you Wait, done to them is, <clears throat> is it also an option that antiseptikai killed them without being like that is that but, is but clearly the story that's being told is that they're connected in some way yeah it, it, it's yeah. possible and that's where it's unclear what's going okay, on because yeah. we've only seen it essentially from chase brody's perspective yeah okay. rather than yeah that makes sense. the outside that perspective makes which is this is the first time we're really seeing stuff from like an outsider yeah. interesting so. okay stop please stop it what was that sorry the flash <laughs> that was like <laughs> the, the meme images that yeah <laughs> It's just a, a weird shape. It looks. I, I like, think it's just like artifacting from a light, like whatever light yeah. effect they're using to overlay. Yeah, is. I used to be a video editor. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. If you couldn't in tell. a former life. Yeah. yeah Stop that. it. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Stop asking. Have you ever experienced oh, those were images laid over though. Maybe these are the images that they were showing him, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Cause, well, right, cause yeah. He, when he had, it's weird. That's, yeah, that's a face. That's definitely. Because he had like face. three. Yeah, you see the nose and the eye socket. So it's like half the face, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a lip. There's a ring. I, think, I think it's that's... meant to be his family, yeah. possibly his his wife and right. Child. You see, yeah, you yeah. see wedding ring with small kid finger. <clears> so that's yeah, family. You see that's I'm, face. Yeah, face, which I'm assuming is her. It looks kind of like an out. That oh, that's the hand. That's hand, I think. Is that hand? I think oh, so. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Yep, yep, because there's finger, 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 yeah. knuckles. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Experience a terrible occurrence that is in Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, it keeps flashing and then it talks about, like, have you seen any yeah, pictures? Yeah, there's a ring. Yeah, there's a ring. Wedding again, ring. But, but off of something. Uh, him. Glass of glass whiskey. Glass of whiskey. Hey. Yeah. So that's him having taken, like, the wedding More ring whiskey. off. More whiskey. Because of the divorce, Ever. because of the, the tragedy. That's a, ooh, cool. It's a cool effect. I don't yeah. have a clue what it is, but it's a cool effect. Hmm. Looks like a purse. It looks, well, it's a humanoid. It's a silhouette, figure. obviously. Yeah. It's an eyeball! It's an eyeball. It's Daffy Duck. <laughs> Here's the beak. Here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. Ever experienced a terrible occurrence? Oh, he had two eyes. Or, or, or four, three? He had multiple eyes there. I think it's just a, a cool effect. Yeah, there, yeah. Than, uh, uh, in, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think that they're, they're overlaying it. again. He's being yeah. asked this a lot of times, and this is where like the time space stuff gets interesting. So you're yeah. like, oh, is this yeah. actually where he's been before? And he's been asked this yeah. multiple times. This is actually all merging into one for him. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. right. Or Aaron Hansen is secretly a bug person. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there it is. That's, we cracked it, guys. That's it. Aaron I mean, Hansen's more believable than it's Daffy Duck. Let's be honest. <laughs> of, all, of all the ideas that have been tossed out on the couch in the last hour. Bug person interviewer, one of the lesser <laughs> crazy ones. It's a terrible occurrence. Stop! Subject's exposure has increased to concerning levels. Suggest so moving to second <laughs> phase pending board awesome. <Lord> permission. <laughs> awesome. To concern what is this? What did you do to me? Oh, Aaron. Cold. So cold. Walking what out like a boss. When you asked the lab. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Hansen has left the chat. <laughs> Carl Zeiss, write that down. Nice expensive lens there. Small glitch there as well. Also, jacked. Jack, Jack, there. <laughs> Epic bicep. <laughs> Hello? We'll have to listen to the audio individual. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I hear you. Who are you? Uh oh. Ooh, ooh, that's cool. Getting some voir dire. <laughs> Wait, where are you? How, how can I hear you? Some cool spatial hey, effects there. Wait, can you get me? I thought when they would pan over, it might have been yeah. anti subject. 
whale whale noises. Whale noises. <laughs> then why are you talking to me? Are you trapped here too? No, 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 no! Don't say that. No. If both of us work together, we can get out of here. What? What do you mean? How? How do you know that? Hmm. You've seen him too. What did he just say? You've, You've seen, seen him, him too. So he's talking to yet another <clears throat> person. Yeah. About a third person. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. So, or, I, so the third person that they're saying you've seen him, I think that is Ante. That's got to be Ante, right? Yeah. It's the only person. Uh, it's the only real one that Ante, that Chase has really if interacted we with. We work together. So is he talking to his like? Is he communing with the dead? <laughs> Dead wife. So this, I thought he'd recognize the voice. I of being think. Like, who are you? Well, at first it'll be who are you. This is a. I mean, that might be just the indication of like I I hearing a voice. Yeah. Who are you? Oh wait, now I understand who yeah. you are. Because because he says like yeah. if we work together, like at, at a certain point there's a familiar. But they but they are in Iris, which is interesting. So we can get out of here. Yeah. So they are. So which would imply that's, they're another yeah. altar. Are you in here too? Yeah, that's true. That's Jackie boy. <laughs> Jackie boy man <laughs> talking in whale noises. Right? Hmm. Echo? Echo. Is Echo a thing? So Echo is not a thing. Echo is new. And the, oh. Echo is the name of the new altar. Oh, or, so there's a new... Or, okay, or, no, the new, not a new altar, sorry. But like, Echo is a new character. Is yeah, it yeah. Is a character. Sure. He is being cagey as to whether it is new or whether it is someone we know. Okay. Um, yeah. But Echo is like the altar that is speaking to him. Mm. He is referring to it as Echo. Interesting. But we, it could be. It's very po possible that it is, is is one of the altars we have met in the past. Because I, I think it would, in a sense, I think it would be strange for him to introduce a new one. Um, really? Yeah. Well, because we've got six, and actually, to be fair, we've not had that much development on the six we have. How sure, but how interesting but are, are more the six? Yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah. Like the other ones are pretty comedic. I mean, no, I would say fair. like you got like I'm the silent film guy. Yeah, you that's know? fair. And I'm the wacky superhero, and I'm yeah. the magician yeah, and, in a cat mask. And I mean, and if it's established that they're just multiple jacks out yeah, in the multiverse, true. like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it, this, I mean, this has a very ser different tone to it, right? Like, you, yes, like if this right. is dialing into Jacksepticeye, normal dude Chase, yeah. and Antiseptic, like, those are serious characters as opposed mm. to, like, I'm the Dr. Schneeperstein. <laughs> Although, wah, 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 wah. But, but this is the thing is all those characters have started that shift because Chase Brody started out as a jokey character. Schneeperstein has primarily been a jokey character until, like, the last video he was ever in. He How long ago was that? Serious. That was 2019. Okay. So it was before okay, so everything it was before, kind of stopped. But, well, as but he it was, was, he was as trying he was to ramp up. up the, yeah, stuff. no, that's fair. That's so fair. I think it'll be interesting. Echo is one to keep an eye on. We just don't have enough, okay. I don't think, right mm -hmm. now to know who that is potentially. Okay. Unless Lee, Lee's a genius theorist. <laughs> we go, when are we getting Zack Snyder's Jackie Boy Man? <laughs> <laughs> no. Slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> no, he needs to first show up as the the ending cut scene in a, in a, in a DC movie. Right, he has to he has to go up against Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Waller has to dial him into like a Zoom call somewhere. That, that's what. We that's need your help. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron was going to kill. Oh, that was Darko. That, that was Darko. You went, you went northern. I did. I went. I went too far. Top of the morning to you, laddies. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh wow. He hasn't done that. Wow, he hasn't done that. Someone's time. mic fell off. Oh, that's yeah. my mic. Oh no. No, oh, Tom. It's fine. Oh, no, Tom. Don't leave me alone here. Was there sound there? No. Okay. Thought I heard like some Again, I think that's, a, that's the cuts from the, sure. the live Oh, I, I was oh, a little on the... How are you doing today? Oh, okay. Just peachy. And we know you've been through a lot recently, Chase. We just want to help. Please, allow us to lighten the mood a little. <laughs> well, Elevator music. <laughs> we know you think we're evil and want to cause you harm, but <laughs> we'll see the change in how they've done the camera now. Suddenly, so we want to stop it's the now. Can't tell. Yeah, it's personable. You guys sure have a funny way of showing it. 
we would like to share some information with you about our company and why you're here. Oh yeah, info Here's informational one. video. <laughs> okay. Give me that lore dump. Back, there was an incident in a small town in the north of England. An item was discovered that had a considerable influence over the people who lived there. An item? What kind of item? A small stone slab. It seemed harmless from the outside, but this item was affecting it's lives of everyone slab. in this town. They had no idea, of course, but many of the residents there had talked about getting severe headaches that wouldn't go away, getting nosebleeds much more frequently than normal, and some started hearing voices. <gasps> it's like me. Voices. We're not entirely sure what these voices were saying, but they evidently had an impact on the people who experienced them. I'm assuming there's never been a stone slab yet. <clears throat> okay. All right. Many lost their minds, were completely unresponsive, oh, while gee. others, sadly, turned a darker path. Why are you telling me this? When Iris found out what had been happening in this village, we sent out a team to negate the problem. The CNC identified the item and took it back here for containment. So? So, you see, Chase, Iris helped those people in that village. We saved them. We find items like those and we protect people from them. We're not here to harm you. We just want to help. Again, big so, SCP vibes. But, right, yeah. I was gonna, yeah, big I was gonna say, SCP yeah. SCP vibes. Yeah, I feel that. We help people, yeah, we help people. <laughs> but the weird thing is, is like in that instance there was an item and we took the item into containment and we saved the people. Yeah. But they're trying to save him and yet they brought him into containment. Sure. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean if but, it's... But he might have already been affected by stuff, right? Yeah, well, or is he about himself. his or, or is he the, right the SCP, the altar is an anagram, right? Yes. SCP, yes. secure, yes. contain, protect. It's that sort of vibe. <clears throat> are, you, are you telling me that he could be, he could be I'm being affected SCP. by one of these items? Unfortunately, okay. That's a... we believe there is something far more sinister interfering with your life. How, how much more sinister can this get? What is affecting you is orders of magnitude more powerful than any of these items. So, hmm. so what? You guys knew that this was happening and you just sat there and did nothing. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this, Chase. We know what you've been through. No, you have no idea what I've been through. Probably do. You've been seeing things, correct? Hearing voices in your head? Have you seen a man alongside these visions? How did you know that? That, Chase, is Altar 114209. We've been oh. tracked. Well, you told him from the get-go! <laughs> could have saved us, like, the last four days! Yeah, the last 72 hours <laughs> of mental stress and strain. No. Oh. Man, people just need to talk. Movie logic. Fucking him for quite some time. <laughs> he won't leave me alone. He shows me such awful things. What I did. We know what was taken from you, Chase. That you used to be a husband. Father. I didn't kill them. I'm sorry? I didn't kill them. Hmm. Good one. Look at what? that. Pulling back mm -hmm. ears and stuff. That's, hey, yeah. that's legit. It said, that's like, really his acting is like... That's the, that's the sort of acting that gets you talking to Ryan Reynolds. There you go. <laughs> Gets you into free guy. <laughs> so they actually pull out from free guy. He was a free guy. He, he was, was. Free guy. He was in it more than most people. He yeah. did a really yeah. good job. Uh -huh. They were just really good friends. They, yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they collabed. It took a while. Yeah. But they finally did they the did. crossover collab. Did, there you go. I will say, Free Guy did not push to his YouTube channel, though. You know, he didn't say, like, hey, like and subscribe. Yeah, no, it's poor optimism. Was it, was it yeah, YouTube or did they make him a Twitch streamer? I forget. <laughs> because there were a lot of Twitch streamers YouTube. involved. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Mr. Brody. We but there, was vo there were voices there. Yeah, mm -hmm. there were. I'm very sorry, Mr. Brody. Yeah, we'll have to go back and analyze the whispers. <clears> yeah. We need to take you somewhere more secure. More Contain secure? Protected. Why? What happened? Nothing, Mr. Brody. It's merely a precaution. Okay, a precaution against what, though? What are you not telling me? We do this a lot, Mr. Brody. We move it's people around in space. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be stuck in this tiny mm -hmm. room forever, do you? Right. No, that's not true, is it? Something happened. If you would just follow us, we will happily explain everything. 
Okay, okay. Hmm. Wait. What is it, Mr. Brody? Wait, we have to leave. I, I've, I've been here before. That, that's impossible, Mr. Brody. No, no, you don't get it. I've been exactly here before. No, please, let me go. Please, please calm no, down. we have to leave. Calm down, please, Mr. Brody. Let me, let me go. Oh, hey, what was that? That looked like there was something there. Looks like an uh, iris. It's like a. It's like Daffy Duck. <laughs> That's the Destiny logo. Please <laughs> go! <laughs> I love how long it takes them to like yeah, run like, after him. They're like, what do we do, boss? Please, no! Let me go! Wait, sorry. There's one more. Oh, it's just a close up. Let me go! Please! Please! No! I would believe him. I, th I don't know. When someone starts frantically saying, we gotta get out of here, I think uh -oh. we'll oh, no! Dead to blood. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> Someone's still operating the camera. Oh. Oh, ooh. ooh that's cool. That was really cool. Ooh, good transition. That was really cool. Good transition. <laughs> For a YouTube series. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, hello. Zombie person? Dead person? Dying, dying person? Yeah, probably dying. I think. Oh no! You know what that was? That was to mask the person, Ooh, the shadow, hello. with the camera. Oh! So antiseptic I'm assuming. So... They are two separate things. Yeah. So they it all, it they seems all... like it, unless this is all... Awesome. He's like no, spirit. he's got footprints. He's, he's leaving bloody footprints. So they are all... The fact that he's leaving bloody footprints. And, and this is, I, I think, part of the debate is yeah, yeah, whether, yeah. because we've seen him take over other people, it's whether that's the reason Chase Brody is special, because he's never fully gained control of Chase, or been yeah. control Chase. Ha! Oh, Chase. Antiseptic guy always looks, he looks, he always looks different, right? Yeah. Okay. No, he does. He always has some, some differences. But, but that's him, yeah? Yeah, that, okay. is, that is Ante. Okay. The green eyes, because that was the latest addition in one of the, in the previous one, which is funny because that red moment yeah. is what is, um, is mimicking that video where he goes, what have you done? Like, and it's presumably over, like looking over his dead family. Yeah. That's where the green eyes come in for Antiseptic guy. Yeah. But... Chase goes down a hallway and finds Antiseptikai standing over the body. This yeah. time, Antiseptikai walks down a hallway. And finds oh, Chase. it's parallel! Parallel. It's a story that rhymes. It's yeah, like yeah. it's basically Star Wars. It's like poetry. It rhymes. <laughs> it's like Star Wars. <laughs> um, yeah. So okay. So the fact that he, there are bare feet, bloody footprints means mm -hmm. that they are at least some level of separate entity, right? Yes. Because yeah. Chase has shoes on and has had shoes on the entire time. Yeah. So I'm assuming. I need to yeah. double check, but I like. It seems like they are two separate. So he's. So I think your theory was actually right, potentially, right? The idea of maybe Chase is somehow a vessel to summon anti yeah, 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 yeah. to yeah. him without it actually being. They're using him, him to. Himself. Iris is using him to draw. Like potentially draw suck him into this universe. Right, yeah, exactly. Some way. Yeah, exactly. Or whatever. Huh. Interesting. What do we have? Uh, last notes here. Do we have anything about. Iris at all, like what they do, what they're I mean, any like past if, history. If I were to guess, I mean, total guess, I know mm. nothing about this. It seems to me Jack was very inspired by SCP. We mentioned that already. Sure. Mm -hmm. I would imagine looking into the SCP Foundation might. Yeah. Like what yield, parallels might yeah, exist like, there? Like yeah. Might yield some results because I also know, and that it's uh, SCP is a whole bunch of fan-made lore. It's a big com community collaborative project, so the SCP Foundation kind of. Changes mm -hmm. depending on yeah, who's depending on the them. needs, yeah. yeah, yeah, and like it. I think it'd be really interesting to see in the future of this series whether like Iris takes the more benevolent route that mm -hmm. some people go, mm -hmm. or the more malevolent route of yeah. like no, we're are they literally trying to protect Chase yeah. Brody or are they using him for using, their own yeah, benefits? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because so part of it, what, we don't know that much about Iris in the, like, the Watcher video <coughs> that came before talking about their camera technology. There's a lot of mentions of antimatter yeah. being used as a power source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, right. with antiseptic eye, right. then yeah, suddenly go, th th there's a connection there. It feels weird for there not to be a connection. We know, and that's most of what we know. Yeah. Um, I think there's a report on Twitter of like another altar and that's like the sure. the Iris Twitter is interesting. They have a head 
audio engineer, which is hints that there's probably stuff hidden in audio. Yeah, yeah, sure. they, they, they go, they're going through some of their crew and like talking about, you know, make sure that you're you're safe and you you're you know trust Iris, trust Watcher. Sure. We're, we're looking after you, kind yeah. of. That's the vibe they're propaganda. giving off. But exactly, <laughs> yeah. it's the propaganda stuff. So I'm intrigued to see kind of what more comes from this hmm. to develop Iris. Yeah, as this a is thing. Fat. This was really well done. <clears throat> right? I, I, that's the mm. thing. I, I mean, again, I'm so proud. <laughs> um, you know, like, I, I am like yeah. old man YouTube here, but like, I don't know. I'm always so proud to see people getting outside of their comfort zones and getting mm. outside of like the things that they are known for online to produce other larger scale projects. And, you know, that's, that's the best, you know, because it's, yeah. it's, and it's great that people like, like Sean and like Mark and, and, you know, you have other people like, uh, I know Brave Wilderness did their show mm -hmm. and I know like Dude Perfect has their, their show. Like there's so many people at this point who are able to make like, and are empowered to make the stuff that they've always wanted. I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome to see. Yeah. And it's really fun. Again, like with Jack and Mark are really good examples of it, of that sense of these were YouTube gamers. They were playing video games, right. commentary, improvising, and now they're going into one really high level filmmaking yeah, yeah, yeah. and being directors and writers right. and all that but also just the, like, so the stories they're telling are becoming more than just here's like a quirky character I made up because right. it's a spooky video so here's my dark uh, character yeah yeah no totally because I know there's like story and complexity and the fact that you know we're sitting here going what's the theory what's mm -hmm. the story the, behind the it the fact that we're great. sitting here going where where does Jackie Jameson or whatever his name oh, is oh yeah Jackie Jackie boy yeah. Uh, yeah. Jackie boy man where does he fit into the lore yeah. exactly it's suddenly like a wider story than yeah. just you know, yeah. funny character, funny funny man do funny game. Right. <laughs> funny man do funny game with green hair. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> cool. You, we'll, we'll talk. We will. About yeah. theories. For sure. Because I'm assuming we'll need to drop into the back videos as well to yeah. pull out stuff. Yeah. I think the antimatter, I think the antimatter anti Septicai stuff is like, there's a yeah, thread that sure. we'll want yeah, to Yeah, there's Easter there. eggs to the other altars potentially being in this facility at the same time yeah. based on the live stream. So we'll, we'll them like those. Pokemon cards. Yeah, so, Basically, so, yeah. So go out and watch all the past videos of those characters yes. and let us know what you find and we'll, we'll be doing the same over on our end. Uh, congratulations to Sean and everyone over there mm. who did this. I mean, like to Aaron and everyone who's a part. Like those are the people that we know, but obviously everyone behind the camera too, it's awesome. So it's, that was, um, you Crank Gameplays was the camera guy. No way! Yeah. That's awesome. It's so cool. It was a proper it's, YouTube Yeah, I was going to say it is. That's like <laughs> full on like YouTube collab. That's awesome. Good. Yeah. Everyone powered from the ground up. That's so cool. Absolutely. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for as always for supporting uh, creator-led mm. initiatives like this and uh, stay tuned for a theory on one of these two channels. Yeah, at some we'll, point. We'll, figure, we'll figure it out. We're going to talk behind the scenes and figure it all right. out. But in the meantime, remember, <laughs> it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!